Occupational therapy is about working with people to enable them to overcome any challenges or barriers that they might have to doing the occupations that they want to do. Those are the things that they need, want and have to do. So occupations uh, can vary. It's what is meaningful and purposeful to the individual. It can vary from self-care, leisure, productivity, breaking it down to thinking about what you might be doing in the morning, how you're going to get out of bed, prepare your breakfast, brush your teeth, down to how you might travel somewhere. Occupation Occupational therapists work with people, identifying them barriers, working collaboratively with them. Occupational therapists work with people to help them overcome challenges or barriers in a much more uh, safer or enjoyable way for them. I chose to study occupational therapy because I like the way the profession views people, it views people as a whole. You really get to know people and go on a journey with individuals and for me having that relationship and rapport with people was important. Prior to coming to university I've worked in health and social care for about 20 years. I've worked with many occupational therapists um, during my working experience. I've worked alongside the OTs, I've seen them do interventions with people, I've seen them make you know, real positive changes to enable the people People to be able to do the things that they want and need and have to do. I felt this experience with working with people, supporting people, having that caring and compassionate attitude was really helpful and provided me with a good grounding. But equally, whilst I've been on the course, I've met friends who came from admin roles or a banking background. I think if you're caring and compassionate and you've got the ability to do your best whilst you're studying, then anyone's got a good opportunity to be a great occupational therapist. Each module may focus on something new, a new practical skill to learn. We might focus on communication, understanding what occupation is and what that means to people, considering people's cultures and beliefs. Whilst we're on placement, we really draw on the clinical skills and utilising everything that you've learned in university and applying it to the clinical setting. So whilst I was on the degree, I felt that these things really equipped me really well during the module learning, enabled me to go on to placement with a bit more confidence and then I was able to brush up then on that skill set and really apply myself to learning more about the clinical skills that was needed in that particular area. My placement experience was amazing at university. I got to cover a whole wide range of different settings. I was able to really see the true value of occupational therapy. The degree at university has definitely enabled me to be prepared for joining the workforce as an occupational therapist. I feel the degree has really equipped me. I feel I have a, a real understanding of the core beliefs and philosophy of occupational therapy. I think it's a really exciting profession to get into. It's evolving. We have an ageing population and an increasing complex long-term health conditions. I think joining the profession now is a really um, exciting and rewarding in time, there's lots of career progression and development. My advice I would give to people who are considering coming to university to study occupational therapies, just go for it. I was 38, I had two small children, I have a specified learning difficulty. I was thinking, you know, um, for myself, you know, would I be able to apply myself, would I be able to study, would I be able to write? But the support you get at university really um, helps you and develops you. Uh, if you have got any fears, or worries, you know, do reach out to the university, speak to the lecturers there, speak to the admissions team, just um, be reassured that there's lots of support out there at the universities.